All right, folks, we're broadcasting live here in Washington, D.C. from Cuba La Brea, uh, where, of course, we have our school choice is the Black Choice Reception. Uh, and uh, we just, of course, heard from the three brothers and sisters who are running for a governor. Now let's talk about uh, African Americans as consumers. The reality is when it comes to this economy, well, we're up to now the spending power of $1.3 trillion. That's a hell of a lot of money. But the question is, what are we spending that money on? Are brands respecting us? And... What does it say about our loyalty? Well, every year for the last seven years, Nielsen has done their annual survey on black consumers, and their new survey uh, is out. So I'm going to just, I got, I'm doing the phone. I see, here's the deal. We're going to talk about this because black folks, we really use our phone. We really and do. And so I need to uh, use both. Uh, this is a copy of their report, folks. Uh, it is called uh, From Consumers to Creators, The Digital Lives of Black Consumers. And so joining us right now uh, is uh, Cheryl Grace with Nielsen. Now, so I ain't going to give a title. Because uh, Cheryl literally, Cheryl would have to need uh, like three sides of a business card if I read her full title. Uh, tell me what your title is. Your full I'll just leave it at Senior Vice President of Consumer Engagement. Thank you. That's How about right. that? If they can shorten that, I'll be happy. Okay. Uh, right. Cheryl, we, we, uh, glad to have you back. We've okay. talked about this. First time on Roller Martin Unfiltered. Uh, glad to have you here. Thank you. Uh, and um, for folks who don't know, uh, Nielsen does several of these reports. But black folks kicked this thing off. They, we Black folks set the trend. We did. We started the report in 2011. And since then, we've um, done Asian American reports, Hispanic reports, uh, as well as LGBT communities. So we have an entire series now. But it all originated with the African American consumer. Now, a lot of people, when it comes to these reports, they may talk about just spending power. They may talk about uh, just when it comes to uh, our views on one aspect. But you cover a variety uh, of areas in here what, in terms of how much time we spend on games, watching television, uh, us creating content, all kinds of stuff. We do, because we think it's important that African Americans not only understand what their buying power is, but how their purchasing decisions impact brands, and more importantly, how brands need to understand what that buying power um, can do for their market share. And so it's really important because if you don't know what your power is, you literally just give it away. And so this isn't a report that just talks about how you're spending your money, but the importance of how you're spending your money. And there's a, there's a, a difference. Uh, Summer Redstone, of course, uh, who uh, he uh, owns Viacom, and he had his famous statement, content is king. Yes. Uh, and it's king for us, not only when it comes to what we watch, what we consume, but also what we create. Yeah, because we're consuming so much media across all platforms. So whether it's the 52 hours a week of television that we're watching or the fact that 3.6 million of us are tuning into podcasts or the fact that there are so many of us who are gamers, that 73% of blacks who are over the age of 13 claim to be gamers and that's a $36 billion industry compared to the $11 billion industry for just um, movie going. So when you think about all of those opportunities that we have as consumers to see ourselves, we have to be responsible for creating that content. And that's one of the things that we really wanted to stress in this, year report, this year's report that's so different than what we've done before is we're trying to show that you can't just consume, consume, right. consume without being able to make sure that you're seeing what you need to see and how we need to be reflected and we're the only ones who can best tell those stories well i mean it's funny we're having this conversation because what you're talking about is literally what we're doing right here right uh because yes. one and this is a digital only show yes uh here we are uh again talking about the things that other folks are ignoring yes uh you're not necessarily going to have this conversation uh on uh these cable news networks and broadcast networks uh, and if it is it won't be just about black folks right. uh, and so what black folks are saying is look we want stuff that's about us that's for us for us by us about us we're taking control of the message and that's what this year's report the theme is really all about is the importance of owning that content and and how successful that is to brands so when brands actually see that they are generating not a little but a lot of revenue 
from the instances where we do tell those stories and we tell them well, then you start to see more brands looking for opportunities to do that. Now look, there are always, uh, so I ask this question all the time of folks who are book authors, so I ask you, uh, what was the one wow moment for you after this report was done? Where, where did you go, wow? Wow for me, there were a couple. Number one is that our spending is growing faster than any other group of people spend. So between the year 2000 and 2017, we had a 108% growth rate compared to 87% growth rate for non-Hispanic whites. Now, Deborah That's Owens a wow America's, moment for Deborah me. Deborah Owens, America's Wealth Coach, was here. She'd be mad because she'd be like, we should be saving and not spending, well, but and, the reality is. And we should be. But that's not what the report is about, right, and right. we'll leave that to it's the financial what we institutions. Do. But this is what the reality of the situation is. And so if you're looking at how this means that you as an African-American consumer actually have buying power, you need to look at that uptick number, and brands need to understand that. That was the first takeaway for me. The second takeaway for me was the fact that so many black people are gamers. Had no idea. 73% of all blacks who are over the age of 13 consider themselves gamers. That's 73% of all blacks. Gaming is a $36 billion industry. That's a lot of money that we're putting on the table. And if we're not concentrating on ensuring that our games are reflective of who we are, we're leaving money on the table as well. One of the things that you mentioned earlier, and like here right here, is higher device and technology ownership. Ownership. And again, uh, when I talked to a t earlier this year, T.I. was in Atlanta, he talked about us owning our culture. Rishi Lou Dennis, the brother who bought S's, yeah. he says we need to own our culture. We must monetize our culture where we are making the money. Other folks have made billions off, off of, of our music, yes. off of our movies, uh, off of our style. Yes. Uh, and so this is what black folks are saying, no, 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 no. It's time for us to get paid off of us. And the fact that this trend of what we're seeing as voracious consumers and content creators isn't going to go away because when you take a look at how old we are as a people, we're much, much younger than the uh, total population, yep. right? And so 54% of blacks are under the age of 35. That means 54% of us have grown up, you know, because I'm, I'm just a little bit off from that number. 54% of us have grown up literally having some type of digital experience as part of our lives the entire time. So our expectations are much different right. than those who are older. And so we expect brands to understand how they need to reflect right. our culture. We expect brands to ensure that they support the causes that are important to us. And you see that those numbers are much higher with black people than they are with general market. Somebody out there, they want to get, get know more about this record, they actually uh, read this report. So the report hot off the press today, nielsen.com slash African-Americans, that's plural, African-Americans. Nielsen is spelled N-I-E-L-S-E-N, because -E -E I don't want anybody calling and say, I can't get the report. Well, you, there's no O. N-I-E-L-S-E-N dot com slash African Americans. All right. Well, Cheryl, always glad to see you. We appreciate the report. And again, our folks need to know what's in here. So you also need to know what you're communicating out there and leveraging our power. And leverage that power. Use it for good. All right. Cheryl, thanks a so bunch. Thanks.